Hello everyone, today we will be discussing the factors influencing the immune response in parasitic diseases. As you can see on the computer screen or the device that you are using, I have uh, designed some illustrations. I am trying to show some of the important parasites and also the factors that are responsible for the susceptibility of the parasitic infections. So as you can see, we have discussed various factors. We have discussed the age, sex, genetic factors and nutritional status. I am sure that after this video, you will be able to understand what are the factors and how they work and how the immune system is strengthened or weakened during the parasitic infection. Infections. So let's start the video. So let's start the video by writing the title of uh, the topic which is factors influencing uh, the immune response. Factors means we will be discussing some of the conditions, some of the important uh, major contributors that are influencing our immune system, especially in the case of parasitic infections or parasitic diseases. So that is why I'm writing parasitic diseases specifically because this is the lecture, this is the video that I'm making for the parasitic infections playlist. So first we need to first we need to understand what is a parasite. So we already know parasites they are the organisms that basically depends on the host and get the benefits from the host, but in return they what they do is only damage uh, the host by uh, various means they can they can uh, you know degrade the components of the host they can degrade the cells they can kill the cells and so on so that is why we call them parasite they are not going to provide any benefit to the host and the infection caused by them are the parasitic infection so let's let's discuss what are the examples so one example is the plasmodium malaria malaria is the disease caused by plasmodium uh, parasite next is worm infections they are also in the category of the parasitic diseases amoeba infection is also there and and you can see when rbc is is there in our in our body and the and the parasite malaria parasite that enters in the body it is going to uh, replicate inside the rbcs second if we accidentally step onto something if we have a cut or wound and then external parasitic worms they can enter in our body and cause the disease next is the uh, vectors like maybe because of the insect vectors we can get the infections uh, of a particular parasite so as as we know that this happens in case of the malaria parasite this this can also happen in uh, in other parasitic infections so these are few of the examples for the parasitic infections now i'm sure that you have a good idea about uh, parasitic infections now we'll discuss the factors responsible for the survival of the parasites in our body and the cause uh, of the persistence of the parasite. So how parasite is basically surviving inside the body. So there are various factors that are going to be responsible. And you will, you will find these factors interesting. One is the age of the host. If you are a young, very, very young means you're infant if you're old. So both of these extreme ages, they are susceptible for the parasitic infections. Right? If you are old, if you are infant, both of these uh, will be susceptible for the parasitic infection. Second is the sex, gender. It can also contribute for the susceptibility of the parasitic infection and also the immune response against it. Male and female, they will have a variability in the uh, in the pathogenesis of infection. MBBS is, uh, is more common in males. Hookworm infection, when there is a hookworm infection in males and females, uh, specifically females, they have a tendency to develop anemia, especially in case of hookworm infection. So these are some of the results uh, that people have observed. So based on that, uh, it has been said that the immune system is responsible for these uh, factors. Next is nutritional status. 
If you are not taking enough uh, nutrients, if you are not taking in enough uh, important compounds like vitamins and all, and your body is uh, showing the sign of malnutrition, that means you will have weak immunity. Next is the genetic factors. Genetic factors are also responsible for the susceptibility of the infection. For example, if someone is infected, uh, or someone is having sickle cell disease that means a genetically related disorder thalassemia is another one all those patients they will be resistant for plasmodium falciparum infection so plasmodium falciparum will cause falciparum malaria which is one of the dangerous malaria uh, malaria disease you have four four different types of malaria infections you have four different types of agents you have uh, plasmodium vivax you have plasmodium lady you have plasmodium ovale you have plasmodium falciparum so these patients that are showing the sickle cell disease they will be resistant against the plasmodium falciparum infections so these are some of the examples for the factors so now i i'm sure that uh, you know you have a good idea about the factors that are responsible for the immune re immune response against the parasitic infections one age of the host second gender or the sex third is the nutritional status fourth is the genetic factor so all these factors and included many other factors they can regulate the immune response and your susceptibility against the parasitic infection infections can vary so you can see uh, all these factors and I hope now you understand what are these factors why they are uh, controlling the immune response and how basically they are controlling the immune response in case of the parasitic infections so with that note I will conclude this video if you have any questions you can post these questions in the comment section if you have any suggestions you can also post your suggestions in the comment section and if you want to know anything about uh, any topic related to biosciences you are most welcome to post your comment uh, you can post the title of the topic and i'll try to make video on that one all right i'll meet you in the next video where we'll discuss and you know we'll try to make a video on interesting topic related to parasitology i'll i'll, I'll also uh, will be covering the other topics simultaneously so you'll see a lot of videos coming out so if you're new to this channel then please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you take care